Okay guys, uh, here is the video for showing the insides of my rotor head. Right now, if you were to to re if you were to realize to get the the flow the, the flow of the fly bar is uh, at this present moment very flexible because I have actually loosened the nuts inside here. Okay, but according to some of you in the forum, they're saying that no matter how much pressure that I put on these bolts which are holding the blade grips to the rotor head by right I should be having this uh, flexibility of uh, moving the flybar and both blade grips now I'm going to show you now if I were to tighten this bolt here inside okay using my hex screwdriver so if I were to turn it clockwise now you will realize it's getting tighter now now, now realize it's stuck and now as you can see by moving the flybar arm in fact it is so tight up to the point where the swash plate is actually moving and my servos you can hear my servos actually moving and it's it's not moving as you can see so is there something wrong so let's take a look inside inside this okay inside to see whether my bearings and my truss bearings have been set up correctly now on this second part of the video, I've actually removed the screws holding the blade grip to the rotor head. Okay, and I've actually uh, dismantled the the grips here on both sides of the blade grip, right? So, in fact, I can actually remove the grips here, the blade grips here. That was kind of stuck. Okay, All right. So here we have a tarot. A compatible tarot uh, blade grip which I've just bought uh, last week as you can see inside you have half the other pieces of the of the bearings and truss bearings I'll, I'll show the assembly in a short while <coughs> okay here comes the the other part of the video where I have taken off the blade grips the two blade grips from the rotor head and uh, here is the assembly for the feathering shaft okay if you were to look at the feather shaft, it looks pretty straight on both ends and uh, as you can see the assembly is made up of the inner washer there is an inner washer right here okay which actually sits just before the rubber damper of the rotor head right followed by the blade grip if you were to look at the blade grip there is an inner bearing here which actually fits right inside just after this washer and the remaining of this assembly here goes inside the blade grip goes inside the blade grip here okay and the sequence that I have is you have the bearings right you have the bearings you have a a very thin washer if you can see a very thin washer right between the truss bearings and the inner and the inner bearings there's a small washer a thin washer here if you can see it okay I'll turn it I'll turn this slightly there you can see there is actually a washer here right and this is followed by of course huh, there you can see it actually comes up right then as you can see the truss bearings which consists of three metal parts now the inner metal part is uh, the center hole is slightly smaller compared to the outer ring okay and uh, this is what I have read in forums and they have actually mentioned that the inner ring in fact this is also this also comes in the tracks manual okay where the inner ring has to be small smaller than the outer ring so please tell me if this is wrongly set up and uh, of course the truss bearing now if I were to open this assembly here okay let's just uh, dismantle the screw here just take it out right okay if I were to remove this right you realize you realize that there is a washer a washer that sticks together with the with the screw right and this is the outer piece of the 
truss bearing. So if I were to remove the outer layer of the truss bearings, right? So as you can see, the balls are facing outwards. Are facing outwards, right? The balls of the truss bearings are facing outwards, and this is the inner, the inner, uh, what is it? The inner sleeves of the bearing. So my tr my ball bearing fell <laughs> fell off. So this is the inner, which has a slightly smaller hole compared to the outer one, which has a larger hole, right? So basically, that's the setup of the entire uh, hit unit, which consists of the fat room block. So please do tell me whether the setup is actually correct, or is this actually causing the vibration that you're seeing?